Pipelines and cables running along the seabed are known as critical underwater infrastructure. Part of this is the 378 communication cables, with a total length of 1.2 million kilometres. That's 30 times the circumference of the Earth. So why should you care? Because 99% of international internet traffic from this video to your family WhatsApp group goes through undersea cables and our modern lives increasingly depend on those hidden wires. And because they are so important for the global economy and for our countries, we need to find a way to produce mass and capabilities first to monitor them and secondly to protect them. So this is something that very difficultly can be made with traditional assets and manned assets. So unmanned systems are for sure uh, one of the solutions to support the protection of critical underwater infrastructures. Every year, NATO brings together civilian industries and militaries from allied and partner nations to test innovative maritime systems and solutions, from underwater or aerial unmanned systems to new ways of sharing information or control systems. I have the, the mission of the day allocated to different, different uh, drones, so AUV drones. So I'm looking on the top screen at the situation at one is with where I can see uh, one uh, drone, the Sparrows 2, uh, running his mission. The idea is to, to monitor the, the fleet uh, of Redmus with the m -chip software. In times of collective allied operations, sharing information could be critical. Uh, one of the aspects that we focus on greatly is on the inter-vehicle and inter-system communication and how can unmanned systems talk to each other to more efficiently execute missions at sea. Also, how can they integrate into command and control systems more efficiently? And how can partners and allies, how can they share the capabilities in a sort of more dynamic and broadly applicable toolbox and how basically you can solve the problem of moving fast and quickly using the best the technology has to offer. It's obvious that communication systems are key when conducting protection of critical infrastructure, naval mine or underwater warfare, amphibious operations, and especially when sharing control of assets between allies. But how could it be done? On the drones, you can find something that's not very uh, common, which is the, the fact that they have a bunch of communication links. And this is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LoRa, uh, ZigBee, and then you have also 4G and 5G native. And this is very important, for instance, on this exercise that we're doing a lot of experimentation around a 5G bubble that's been deployed here. And what that means is we, we just need to plug one of their uh, SIM cards on the drones and suddenly you have connectivity and you have extended range up to 50 kilometers out onto, onto the sea. And that is very unique to, to our assets. By bringing together industries and militaries to create unique capabilities, NATO is able to stay at the highest level of innovation and reach its goals. Today I see NATO as the big Western coalition. It's not only a small coalition to, pro to protect Europe and the United States. It's more than that. It's a coalition to protect the Western way of life and the main interests.